Today in our palmistry series, we're dealing with the lines, and in particular, the love relationship lines. These lines are found horizontally running across the hand under the little finger. It's best to look at the writing hand as this is likely to confirm the present and future opportunities. The non-writing hand shows what you were born with, what your life was going to be like, whereas the writing hand reveals changes you've made to your original life script. These can be difficult lines to read accurately, so they're often left to last in a palmistry reading. There are many factors that can increase or decrease the likelihood of a person pursuing a love relationship. And for that, you need to look at the rest of the hand. As you exercise personal free will, the lines on your hands change to reflect your actions and decisions. To see this for yourself, photograph your hands and print out the images, date them, and look at them again in five to 10 years. Earlier love relationships in your 20s and 30s show on the hands close to the heart line, whereas partnerships that begin later in life are found closer to the base of the little finger. Sometimes a hand shows only one strong relationship line late in life. This can mean that the person has matured emotionally to be more available for love in later years. This sometimes describes a person who has missed opportunities for love while maybe perhaps caring for aging parents. When these responsibilities have been discharged, he or she is available for a relationship. In this image, there are two children lines. This can indicate the person has children later in life or that his partner already has children when they meet. Remember that these are love relationships, not friendships. They can be same gender love relationships. What is shown is love and the desire for a partnership. Friendships show elsewhere in the hands. These lines represent opportunities, not guarantees. Relationship lines on the hands represent people you remember at the end of your life. You might remember them fondly or with sadness for a love unrequited. You have free will to pursue or to avoid any and all opportunities, but be aware there will come a day after which you have no more serious relationship opportunities. I say this to remind you to make the most of life every day. The strongest lines represent the strongest relationships. If you meet someone new while already in a relationship, it's still possible to refuse the opportunity and remain in the current partnership. We have free will in life. Each of these lines represents a different relationship opportunity. Some hands show only one love in life, whereas others reveal four or five, even half a dozen. Your tendency to pursue or to resist new opportunities depends on which mounts in your hands are prominent. We'll look into this more deeply later on. If a relationship line ends in a four, there's likely to be a separation ending that relationship. If a relationship line bends down to touch the heart line, it's likely that the relationship will end in a legal situation, such as a divorce or legal division of property. Often, it can mean the same thing when it bends down towards the heart line without actually touching it. An upward bending line, especially in later years, indicates that the person is unlikely to marry again. It's possible to still enjoy love relationships, but usually with partners who live separately. As we tend to begin relationships later in life than our forebears, Sometimes these begin after the nesting instinct has subsided. When there is a sister line to an existing relationship line, it can indicate an attraction to someone new during an existing relationship. If the line doesn't touch the original relationship line and doesn't end further into the hand than the original relationship, then it will pass. If the line springs from the original relationship line, it can indicate that two relationships occur at the same time. There is one more important point to be aware of to improve accuracy when reading relationship lines, and this is the significance of the mounts of the hand. The mounts are the fleshy pads at the edge of the palms. The fuller or more padded these mounts are, the stronger the characteristics of that particular mount. The exception to this is the mount of satin. This is rarely full. People with several vertical lines on satin are less likely to pursue relationships because Saturnian people tend to prefer their own company. They're also less likely to have children. If a person has a full lunar mount, he or she's likely to be sentimental, holding on to past relationships. These people can love you more when they've left you than when they were with you. Lunar types love family and are usually patient with children. 
If the hand contains a well-developed Pluto mount, the person is likely to test each new potential partner to allay personal suspicions. Plutonian people are emotionally very strong and they yearn to find someone who's stronger than themselves. This rarely happens as they are emotionally the strongest type in palmistry. These people value honesty over all else and if a partner lies to them, they rarely forgive. They can sniff out a secret intuitively as they're natural detectives and researchers. Pluto people need to be aware that they are sometimes attracted to broken or emotionally damaged people as they have a desire to transform, to heal the lives of others. This makes them good counsellors, psychologists and social workers. If the hand's most prominent mount is Venus, this person needs to be careful to pick a generous partner. If his or her partner is self-absorbed, this person risks spending every day and night tending to the spouse's every need, while inwardly remaining emotionally hungry. Venusians aim to fall in love once for life. If this doesn't happen, they'll pursue every opportunity for love, just in case it's the one. Unlike the Saturnian who's aloof and suspicious of the motives of others, the Venusian cannot abide being alone for very long. They yearn to be in a partnership. If the hand has a strong Apollo mount, a long Apollo finger, or vertical lines on the Apollo mount, this person is likely to pursue every opportunity for love because they are innately romantic and they thrill to the promise of new love. If a person's hand has a strong Jupiter mount or a long Jupiter finger, this individual might be tempted to pursue every relationship opportunity, often at once. Commitment to a single relationship for a long period of time can be difficult for Jupiterian people. For this reason, relationship lines are some of the last lines to be read on the hands. Relationship lines also appear beside the lifeline. In this image, you can see three arrows. Arrow A shows the beginning of a new love relationship as a small line running beside the line of life. Arrow B shows the line ending in a small cross. A cross inside the lifeline can indicate a legal dispute with someone that you know. Arrow C shows a relationship line bending down towards the heart line. This usually indicates a legal separation after the conclusion of a relationship, such as a divorce or a property settlement. So the relationship line beneath the little finger shows the association, while the line next to the lifeline gives more accurate dates of events. If a clear relationship line ends and another line begins, but not from the edge of the hand, it can suggest a reunion with the original partner. This new line doesn't begin at the edge of the hand, but it's further in, signifying a new life breathed into an old opportunity. Sometimes a former couple remarries, or lost love is rekindled when circumstances change. In rare instances, I've seen two major yet separate lines that represented two distinct stages of one marriage. If you'd like to know more about your hands and what they reveal about you, I offer distance palmistry readings from photographs. Using your supplied photos, I can send you a report that outlines the character, the mounts, the lines, the shapes of the hands as well. These inexpensive readings are a way to look at palmistry and get a grasp of the whole idea.